What I want to do in this video is step through the insertion sort function that we wrote in the last video. But before I do that, I actually want to just focus on one part of it, because I realized that I used something that you probably don't recognize because we haven't used it before. I used. I used the keyword right over here. I used break. And you might guess what break means, but I'll now explain it explicitly. What break means is break out of the smallest loop that you were doing. So we were we were taking our item and we were kept comparing it to the thing to the left of it, or we we're taking value and comparing things to the left of it. And as soon as we found value not being less than the thing to the left of it, we said, hey, we're done. We don't have to keep going to the left. And in that situation, I want to break the loop. So we're breaking this while loop, and then we just continue continue in our next iteration of this for loop over here. So that's what break did. Now with that out of the way, let's actually step through this program on a simple example. So let's say that someone calls, well let's just define, let's just define A to be equal to, let me think of a fairly simple list. 2, 1, 2, 1, I don't know, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. I think is a good list over there. And let's assume that we are calling insertion sort, insertion sort, insertion sort on A. Let's think about what's going to happen. Well, the first thing, of course, that list, let's keep track of all of the variables here. So one of so list is right from the get-go going to refer to two, one, three, two. That's list right from the get-go. And then we enter into the function for index in range. And let's parse this part right over here. So what is len of the list? So len of our list is the same thing as len of 2, 1, 3, 2. And this is just really the number of elements. Len is short for length, not that much shorter. But len of this is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to be equal to four elements. So this right over here is going to be 4. And then the call range range between 1 and len of list is 4. This will return the list. This will return the list starting at 1 up to but not including 4. 1, 2, 3. And so these are the indices we want to use, because this the first index is this right over here, second index is this right over here, and the third index is that over here. Remember, this is the zeroth index. So index is going to keep incrementing between these two. It's going to be 1 first, then 3, then 2. So let's just, let me just create our variable index that's going to be whose scope is inside of the for loop. So let's say we have index. Index is going to start off being the first item, the first item in this list right here, the list generated by range one comma len of list. So index is going to start off being one, and then over here we say value is equal to the index element in list. So let me define our variable value. Value. So what is list of one? What is so what is the first element in the list? Is the zeroth element? This is the first element. So we're looking at this right over here. This is it is the first element. So that's fair enough. And then we define i to be index minus one. So let me put i over here and do a new color. So now let's do i. It is index minus one. Index is one, so index minus one is zero. So it's the index of the item to the left of value. So that is going to be 0. This index is 1. This is 0. And then we're saying while i is greater than or equal to 0, do all of this business over here. And the first thing that we do over here is we compare value. We compare value to the object that is at the ith element in the list. So let me write that over here. So list, list at i. So that is going to be the zeroth element in the list. That is 2. That is 2. So we're comparing value. We're comparing 1. We're saying if 1 is less than the ith element in list. If 1 is less than 2, then do this. Well, 1 is definitely less than 2. We're essentially taking 1 and comparing it to the thing to the left and saying, hey, it's less than that. So it's less than that. So let's let's shift this, this 2 to the right, and let's shift 1 to the left. And so we go into here, and we say list i plus 1. So what's i plus 1? i plus 1 is 1. So this is list of 1. So this slot right over here, so this in yellow that I just underlined, that's this slot right over here. i is 0, i plus 1 is 1. So the ith, the first item 
or the first slot is this slot right over here. Let's replace it with whatever is at list whatever is in the ith element or whatever is the in the zero slot, I guess I should call it. So let's replace it with this two, right? Let me make it clear. And this time around, this is two, and this is the slot where the one was. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna replace that with two. And then in the place where the two was, we're gonna replace it with value. And remember, value was set to one. So value is set to one. And so our list now looks like one, two, three, two. And hopefully this looks familiar if you remember when we first described the insertion sort algorithm. So we go through there and we don't and then we and now we want to decrement i. We say whatever i was, it's one. We subtract one, so now it's zero. So the new value for i is zero. The new value for i is zero. Actually, no, no, sorry. Whatever i was, i was zero. i was zero. You subtract one from that, and now i is going to be negative one. So now i is going to be i is now going to be negative one. And then we go to the while loop and says while i is greater than or equal to zero. Well, i is now negative one. So it, the while loop no longer applies. This will return false. i is not greater than or equal to 0, so it won't perform any of this anymore. And so we'll now go to the next iteration of the for loop. And so now let's go to the, and, and essentially what's, what's that signifying is that we were done with that element. We compared all the way to everything to the left of it, and it found its place, or it just found its place in general. Now let's go to the first next iteration of the for loop. Now index is going to be the next element. Now index, instead of being 1, is going to be the next element in the list generated by this expression here. So index is now going to be 2. Index is now going to be 2. And now list value is what's ever at the second index. So it's this item right over here. Notice we were at the second to the left. Now we're at the, or we were at the first to the left, or one right to the left of it, now we're one space more to the right. So value now is going to be 3. Values now is going to be 3. i is going to be index minus 1. Index is 2. 2 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is, this is now 1. This is now 1. And we say, while i is greater than or equal to 0. Well, it's clearly greater than or is equal to 0 now, greater than or equal to 0 now. Say so if value is less than list the ith element in list. So the value is 3. And is that less than, well, what's at list i is no longer 2. So what's in the first element? Well, actually, it is still a 2. So it is still a 2. So if we look at the first element, list the first the ith element in list, i is 1, 0, 1. It is still 2. So I actually didn't have to cross that out. It is still going to be, it is still 2 right over there. And so is if 3 is less than 2, do this. Well, 3 isn't less than 2. So you're going to do the else clause, and you're just going to break out of this while loop. And that made sense, because you said, look, we compared 3 immediately to the thing right before it, to the left of it. And we say, hey, 3 is in the right place. 3 is greater than 2. It's not less than 2. So I'm not going to do all this shifting business. I don't have to shift 2 to the right and 3 to the left and then look at the next item. I know that everything to the left of 3 is already sorted. So if 3 is not less than 2, it's definitely not going to be less than anything to the left of it. And so we're done. We leave it the way it is. And so then we break out, and then we go to the next iteration of the for loop. So now index is going to be the next item here. It is now going to be equal to 3, the next item in this list generated by this expression. So it's now going to be 3. Index is now going to be 3. Value is now going to be is now going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. Value is now going to be this item right over here. That is going to be value because our index is now 3. So our, val it, our value is now 2. Let me cross these guys out. Save some space. Value is now two, and now, and now i is two. I is oh let me i is index minus one, so three minus one, so that is two. So i is now going to be two, and the object that is at list at the at the second element of the list zero one two is now going to be is now going to be three. And so the first thing we do, while i is greater than or equal to 0, well, i is clearly greater than or equal to 0. It's 2 right now. If value, if 2 is less than, 
what the ith the ith what's in the ith slot of list. So two is less than three. So we do perform this right over here. And so what we do is whatever is at list of i plus one. So list of i plus one, i is two, i plus one is three. So whatever is at this slot, which is the third slot where the two was, replace it with whatever's to the left of it. So replace it with the three. So we're going to replace this with the three. And the next element, take whatever was that that slot to the left where i is and replace it and replace it with and replace it with value and replace it with value so then we replaced it with value so this thing is now going to be a 2 again and so and then we and now we decrement i again so now i is equal to 1 and we go through the while loop again i is clearly greater than or equal to 0 it is 1 Value is still two. Remember, two is what we're comparing in while we go through this uh, through this while loop. What we're comparing to each of the items to the left. If two is less than whatever's at the ith slot in the list, so the first slot in the list is a two. Well, two is equal to that, but it's not less than that. So we don't have to do anything more. The thing is sorted. Two is in the right place. If it's if it's equal to the thing to the left of it, we don't have to shift anything. And that means it's at least equal or greater than everything to the left of that, since everything is shorted. Uh, everything is sorted already. So then we're done. If since two is not less than two, we break out. And we break out in the for loop, it says, okay, let me see if there's anything less left in this list to apply index to. There isn't. We've used everything in that list. And so we break out of the for loop, and we're done. And the list should be sorted. And we see right here, the list is sorted. Our final sorted list is 1, 2, 2, and 3.